So if you're a community builder using Circle and you're spending way too much time and money answering support tickets and questions, I'd encourage you to do what I did, and that is to use the AI agents. Circle has released AI agents for our communities, which allow you to create different chat agents and train them on the knowledge that's inside your Circle community. So what we'll do in this video is I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of a few key areas on how you can use AI agents for your circle. Number one, how to create them and train them based off of your material. Number two, I'll show you how to set them up for DM access for your members. Like you see here in my community where members get a DM access to an agent that you create that answers questions, gives them coaching potentially, links to resources in your community. I'll also show you how you can set up agents to respond immediately on posts. So let's say you have a forum for questions that you wanna have an AI version of you be able to answer immediately. I'll show you how to set this up. So a specific AI that you train immediately within seconds comments on questions. Also walk you through a little bit about how to monitor and manage your agents ongoing and how to continue to evolve them and train them inside of your AI inbox. And we'll just glance over the difference between Circle's AI agents and their AI summaries, which are not the same thing. Now, if you've yet to sign up for Circle, make sure to use my link, joshhall.co slash circle, which will get you a free 14-day trial. And you'll wanna make sure after your 14-day trial that you're on what is currently the enterprise plan, which is what I'm on, to be able to get access to your AI agents. So to start, let me show you how to set up and enable AI agents for your Circle community. As long as you're on the enterprise plan, again, you can just go to your main circle menu and click AI agents. This is gonna give you the ability to create new agents and you can do as many of these as you want. Now, one thing that's worth noting is my community has tiers. So I have folks on different paywalls and different access points in the community. So I've had one main AI agent, which I named Brock, which was named after my daughter. She wanted to call it Broccoli. I thought that was a great name, so we shortened it to Brock. And we just recently came out with one that is Brock Lite, which is available for just the folks who have access to the courses in my community, but not the community and coaching aspect. So let's take a look at this, and I'll actually show you how to create a new one first, and then I'll show you some of the specifics with how I'm using these different agents. So to create a new AI agent, just go to new. You can, of course, give it a custom avatar. A welcome message is what members are gonna see, especially if you enable it and it sends them all a DM. And then right here is what you're gonna see in this message where you can ask folks to give them certain prompts. So for example, my one agent, I have all about the courses, like it's just pulling information from the courses. So in this case, I might say this one's just for the courses. Ask me anything about the courses. And then you can actually give it prompts. You could say recurring revenue. Enter, and there we go. It's gonna automatically prompt some members here when they enable this agent. And then you'll go into, this is the important part. This is actually where you wanna assign to certain people. So I currently have 349 folks in my community as a whole, but let's say I just want to assign this to people who are tagged in my courses tier. So I'm gonna select this, and then now you'll see currently we have 113 people in my courses tier, so this agent will only be available for them. And yep, we're gonna enable this to be available in direct messages, and here is that welcome message that we saw. So when we enable this, we can customize that welcome message that you saw to be able to prompt them and get them going with it. Now here's the important part. It is, well, it's all important, but here is the behavior of this agent. This is where you can really have some leeway into making this more of a coach, more of a cheerleader, more of a R&D kind of bot is if it's just finding information. So you can really describe the purpose of this if it's purely directing folks to content or lessons or downloads or cheat sheets, or if it's giving them more coaching advice based off your material, which we'll look at next. So yep, we're gonna use AI answers. And then you have the ability to adjust the type of uh, the feeling of your AI agent, normal, friendly, short and sweet, descriptive. They don't have rugged and handsome, so I couldn't choose that one, but I usually go with friendly. And there's a few other things you can note here. I'll show you what I put in this one for my for my uh, Brock agent here shortly. So you have that set. And then this is potentially the most important part because whatever answers it's gonna kick out is what you give it. So remember, these agents are not like ChatGPT. It's not pulling from other places of the internet. These agents are just pulling from your circle community. 
which means it's even more valuable for your community because they have an AI agent, your members do, that's purely based off of the information. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can add custom information in here uh, in the way of like external blog posts or resources that you want to give it. In most cases, you're going to add knowledge from your community. And what's really great about this is you can go in here and select all the spaces that you want to empower it with. So for, th for this one, we just wanted to do the courses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find all of the courses that I have in my community, Web Designer Pro, and I'm going to select these really in any course resources because I've got a few other course resources here. And we're going to import these. And now this agent, which we'll just call it Web Designer Pro Agent for right now, you can see it's uploading all of the information, resources, and everything from these courses that are in Circle. And now this agent is trained on this. So anytime somebody asks questions from this agent, it will only pull from the courses. This is really key if you have folks in different levels and different paywalls and tiers like I do here with Web Designer Pro. And then you'll save that and you're good to go. And we'll look at this because workflows is a really handy feature that we'll look at next as well. But that is how easy it is to create an agent. So let me take you back here and give you a walkthrough. This is the one we just created of a couple of these different agents. So again, this is the main one that I had. This is more recent, this Brock Light, because I just opened up an agent specifically for course students. But let me just walk you through a few things that I've done that folks have really enjoyed in my community. So again, here's my welcome message. Very cool. Um, I prompt members to ask me about finding or ask Brock about finding posts because they are looking for community posts often. They may be like, where did that one member post about their pricing or something? Lessons, downloads, checklists, even upcoming calls. And I make it very clear that this agent, Brock, will find anything in any area of pro Then I've got a few prompting questions here. This is again set to everybody in my community except for the folks in the courses tier. So this is community and coaching members. That's what I have here. And I wanted to show you what some members have said they enjoyed. If Brock can't find something, I, I'd like to ha train my agents to talk like me. So in real life, I would say, well, frick, I couldn't find that. Tried my best. But my genius does not rival that of our esteemed and handsome leader, Josh. So have some fun with this one. Make it your own for sure. And again, I showed you how to set that all up. So that's how that one is set up. And then this one, Brock Light, as you'll see here, is very similar, except it is only for the courses tier. So if we go into the knowledge base for this one. Actually, we'll go into this one first. This is just like I showed you on that first example, only set up for the courses tier. And I make sure that folks know that this is only in the courses. So the, the description right here is asking me to find anything in the courses. So that's the distinction between those two. Now, as I mentioned, one thing that Circle, at the time of recording this video, has released is the ability to have agents answer posts directly in Circle outside of the DM. So I'm considering rolling this out to answer questions about my courses. Beginners often have a lot of questions. So in order to help them and be able to scale this out, uh, I've got a testing area here for course questions, which are available just for folks in the courses tier. And you'll see when somebody asks a question, I've currently got it set for Brock Light to answer immediately. And this will literally, I'll show you here how to set this up. As soon as somebody asks a question, it is going to give them an immediate answer. And of course, you or somebody in your team could go through afterwards, but you can create an AI version of you that gets back to people instantaneously. It's a huge value add. And again, this is outside of DMs. This is in posts. So how to set that up, go to your agents. Again, I've got a couple that I'm playing around with. This is the one that you saw there that I have set up. So you go into your agent and in workflows, you'll have the ability to create a new workflow. This is what this will look like if we choose another one. You'll be able to set up a new workflow and you do need to make sure it is enabled. So if you ever, go like, this isn't working, what's going on? You got to make sure your AI agent is enabled for that to do that. So I wanted to make sure to point that out because I got stuck on that a little bit ago. So let's go into Brock Light, which again is just for the folks in my community who have courses. 
And then here is where you can create a workflow. I'll walk you through how to set this up. And this is exactly what I did on this one. And I'm recording this shortly after this functionality came out with Circle. So there'll probably be more options when you see this. But I'm going to select Agent Answers Post. And again, it's outside of DMs. So we're going to use this template as a starting point. And here's how to structure this. We're going to run this for everybody who is in this filter. And then we want to select a specific space. Now you can do this in a group of spaces, but in this case, we just want it to be in the course questions, which is what I set up down here. So this is only going to trigger an immediate response from this agent inside that space. So we've got that set up, continue. And now you can go into the actual agent responses. And now here is where you want to select the, cor the correct agent. You know, if you only have one agent, easy peasy. For me, I'm going to make sure I select Brock. And you can choose how often you want it to respond to questions posted in that space. In this case, I'm going to frame this as you got a question, you'll get an immediate response from RAI, and then a human may come back if you don't get it. So I'm going to say 100%. And then you can give it even more instructions on what type of, like whether you want it to coach people, whether you want it to just pull up resources, etc. And we'll un unselect that. And you'll continue. And that is it. That is literally how you can set this up. And again, it's based off of the agent. So that agent is going to pull the information from whatever filters you gave it. So let's go back to our agents. Brock Light should have two workflows because I had the original one. Yeah. And there's the one that I just set up right there. So um, we are going to keep this off just because that's how I, you walk through and set it up. But watch this now. When some actually, we'll go to our our courses guy here, and I'll show you how fast this works. Recurring revenue. How can I build my web design recurring revenue? We'll publish this. And one thing I would state is that it does take a few seconds to kick out an answer, just like any AI. So I'll probably state to give it. 20, 30 seconds, but usually it's pretty quick. If we refresh, I imagine it'll be there. Boom, there we go. So automatically, with how I just set that up, somebody can ask a question, and this is going to kick out resources on how to build recurring revenue that I have Brock Light trained on. Easy peasy. Isn't that awesome? So back into the community here, that is how you can enable AI agents you can customize them. You can use them both in DMs and outside of DMs. And if you didn't know, you can go into your AI inbox and you can manage your conversations. You can also train your agents better with this. And this will show you all your agents. So I can see where is Brock Light being used. And this is also going to show you DM conversations and post conversations. So going back to our main AI inbox, again, you have access to all your agents and you can go in and you can tweak your AI agents accordingly. And in your community, there's a few different places where you can access AI separately outside of the search window. I love how Circle has initiated the recent like weekly uh, summary or the, the top stuff of the latest month. So you can always look at a summary of your community if you want to feature certain things in a newsletter or your social media, et cetera. And one additional area that I do like the AI as well is on posts that maybe have a lot of different comments like this one here. If you click see more or click the post, the AI inside of circle, not any of your agents, but just the native AI is going to give you a nice little summary here as well. So there is a difference between the AI that's native in circle and then the agents that you set up that are not what you're going to see here. Big distinction there, but that's how easy it is to get going with circles AI agents. So pretty awesome, right? Honestly, you could do so much with AI agents in your circle community. Just remember, it's all about saving you time, saving you money, clearing your calendar and not needing to have so much human support when you can automate it with these AI agents. And it really gives members a reason to stay in your community when they get instant support. So I hope everything I showed you helped. Again, if you've yet to sign up for Circle, make sure to use my link, joshhall.co slash circle. That will give you a 14-day trial. At the time of releasing this video, the AI agents are currently available on Circle Enterprise and Plus plans. So after your trial, you need to make sure you're upgraded at least to the enterprise. But again, remember, it's all about saving you time and money. And you could potentially save thousands of dollars 
by not hiring an extra support team or not doing physical responses yourself by having these agents and they're just dang awesome. So if you'd like to get more familiar with Circle, I do have a couple additional resources for you. Here is a video highlighting some of my top favorite features of Circle as a whole. In this video right here, we'll get further in detail into the new website builder that Circle has just recently released to help you have truly an all-in-one complete community platform. So for now, Go have some fun, save some time, save some money, and go play around with your new Circle AI agents.